Once in a while, Israelis make global headlines for accidentally flying through airport security with leftover bullets in their luggage. After all, most Israelis are former IDF soldiers, which typically explains why a stray bullet or two ended up in their old bags. But this latest incident at New Jersey's Newark Airport might really take the cake. ILTV's Brett Allen Smith is here with more. Now, Brett, exactly what happened? Okay, so if I had to describe in just a few words what happened, I'd say it's somewhere between a mass panic and a very, very bad joke. Okay, so the story goes like this. Okay, so a 50-year-old Israeli man, uh, he's now been identified as Elon Feldman, was apparently flying from Tel Aviv to Panama City, Florida with a connection to Newark, like you said. So, you know, like the rest of us, he had to recheck his baggage through security once he arrived in Newark for that, that domestic connection to, to Florida. But when his bags passed through security, pretty much the entire airport ground to a halt because right there in his carry-on luggage in the x-ray was what appeared to be a fully armed and fully functional bomb. And needless to say, TSA security immediately jumped into action. Elon was detained and questioned by police, and practically the entire airport was shut down while bomb sappers checked it, only to finally find out that it was totally fake. It was a fake bomb. Completely fake? Yes. But realistic looking enough to seem entirely real. Correct. All right, so, you know, this begs the question, why was this guy traveling with a fake bomb? Why did he try to pass it through security so nonchalantly? How did he even get to Newark? Sure, well, I can certainly only speak to his account of the story anyway and what the police say. So Feldman later claimed that he was on his way to a security training conference in Panama City. So in fact, he was specifically traveling to a bomb detection training conference, which may at least partially explain why he had a simulation bomb, as it turned out, in his bag. As to why he tried to pass through TSA security with zero heads up, I honestly can't tell you that. And as absurd as this kind of thing is, the TSA is not laughing. In fact, Thelman's That's been no. slapped with criminal charges for this, and they, he may face another slew of fines and even more charges. Even if the device was fake, it was designed to resemble the real thing, which spurs all the necessary terror-related security measures. I mean, that costs the agency money, the airline money, the airport money. That causes massive delays on the runway. I think 300 people were displaced from their flights. Sure. And that's why he's been charged with um, creating a false public alarm and interfering with transportation. Those are the official charges. So obviously that's uh, nothing to laugh about right there. No, I mean, definitely not. I mean, especially since he apparently didn't alert the TSA to what he was doing before he did it. Uh, officials say that at the very least, you know, Feldman should have known better than to bring a realistic looking simulation bomb through an active checkpoint in the middle of the day. Um, I'm sure that gave people quite a scare, yeah. and so, you know, charges are understandable. Um, anyway, thanks for the report, Brett. Sure.